Caitlin. I want to take you guys through a Sunday in my life because it's obviously the beginning of the week and I don't have that busy of a week next week like it's a pretty normal week but I thought I would show you guys how I set my week up for success. I don't really have a plan for the day so we'll see where it takes us. My mom's actually still in town. If you guys saw my last video I went wedding dress shopping and it's actually crazy like I didn't think that I was gonna find a dress. I thought I was gonna have to go to multiple multiple salons but I'm pretty a decisive person when it comes to like what I like to wear or like what I feel good in and I feel like the dress that I ended up choosing and saying yes to which I didn't actually say yes at the salon if you guys watch that video you guys know I like left went to another one and then after thinking about it and looking back at all the photos the favorite from the day was still the favorite and I couldn't stop thinking about it and then the second I was like what if it ever like went out of stock or somebody else purchased it or something like that I'd be so sad because I know that this is the one that I want so I ended up buying that. I'm actually like talking way too loud. Babe, are you listening? Can you not hear me? Okay, I literally think Hunter has headphones on. That's actually funny. So my mom's still in town so I think we're gonna start the day by going on a little hike. We're gonna go. It's called Heisler Park. We're gonna go on that walk and then we're gonna stop at Williams Sonoma on the way back here because it's next to that hike. It's kind of like a walk. I've done it many times, probably on the vlogs too. It's different than the one I did a couple of weeks ago, but we're gonna go. Actually, a really pretty day. It's pretty hot out. And then we're also gonna shop at William Sonoma, like I said. I've been really wanting to pull the trigger on a blender. I broke my blender six months ago. I've always used like the single serving blenders. I've never had a really big one. So I'm in between two, which I'm excited to show you guys then. So we're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna go to the grocery store. We're thinking about cooking like a fun meal tonight for dinner and just have a really calm, chill night, set the week up, like I said, clean. Our house is pretty clean right now, but we definitely need to do some of like the deep cleaning, obviously the dishes, and then we're gonna do the floors. I have a steamer, so I wanna steam the floors today after we vacuum, go through, do all the counters, the stove, go grocery shopping. We pretty much, we have a lot of snacks, but we don't have a lot of things to have in the fridge, so we'll do that. I ended up blow drying my hair because it was a hair wash day. As you guys saw this morning, I went to the sauna. I usually don't go to the sauna. I'm not a huge sauna person, but I have been really, really sore just because I lifted all of last week. I took kind of a week off of spin. I went to one class and the rest of the week I did Pilates and lifting and those two combined make me so, so sore. So I was going to bed last night and I was like, I'm abnormally sore. So I went and rolled out, sat in sauna, and I also did my makeup for today just because obviously I'm not gonna be like working out or anything and we're gonna spend the day out, so. I wanna show you guys the lip combo that I've been doing because I feel like I always like gravitate towards a brown lip liner and I've been literally using my brow pencil as a lip liner, it just doesn't last that long because it's not really meant for that. So I got this NYX lip liner. I actually have another one from this NYX line and I know that they last a really long time, so I got this one in what is the shade i feel like i can never find the shade on these it is i'll put it on the screen nutmeg and it's a really pretty brown almost like a little bit of a warmer brown and i put that as the lip liner and then i went in with this lip plumper which is from clarins it's really pretty it's very pink so i feel like it mixes really well with the deep brown and i feel like it's just the perfect lip combo i feel like i've learned that i really like lipsticks that don't have a really strong flavor or like taste to them or smell and ones that are obviously not that sticky because I don't want it to like bug me. I want to just put it on and then forget about it. So I'm going to put these in my purse and then I'm going to put my shoes on and then we'll head out the door and I'll take you guys with us for everything we do today. This is so cute, but this is insane. I want. We decided to make a stop at the Mercado Laguna. Okay, it's probably so loud with the cars, but we're going to this little shop. It's one of my favorite places here. 
we just went to a place called the Mercado. I got this Greek Mediterranean salad. It has really good stuff in it. It's romaine, arugula, grape tomatoes, organic, cucumber, watermelon, radish, pickled, onion, feta, toasted chickpeas, dill, and lemon vinaigrette, and it was $14. And it's all from the farmer's market. Yeah. And then I also got this really pretty like Valentine's Day thing that I'm gonna hang up for Hunter on Valentine's Day. Cute little market. Told them they should come to Newport. Mm -mm -mm. It's not even sunset yet. Have you noticed it's been like sun staying up a little bit longer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally. I hate when it goes down. I hate that. Really? Like that is actually the worst part of the year is when the sun sets at like four. Yeah. Oh, she got at the beach. Was the water cold? It's my happy place. It was like cool on my feet, but it felt good. I didn't want to get my feet wet because I don't know. I just like was not feeling it. It's cold. Wet like, and cold. Whew. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be worse. Really? Colder than it was. Well, it was a hot day today, actually. Maybe that's why. Well, I mean, I think it takes time to warm up. Yeah. The whole ocean. That would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. But I suppose when we're at shallow. You know that I used to like go, well you obviously know this, but I used to like jump in the water at like early. So it was like freezing. Oh. I want to get a little ice bath so I can just do that in my backyard. Really quickly I want to say thank you to Pork Button for sponsoring today's video. It's really cool if you guys have never used like a dot bio domain or some sort of tool that helps you link everything in your bio. It is so helpful. It truly does take your social media to the next level if you're able to put all of your links in one central spot. Not only that, but it also really helps you build a domain that's super memorable. So the platform that I use is called Porkba and they offer the .bio domain and their powerful link and bio tool for only $5 for the year. You guys actually get to decorate the page exactly the way you want it with the themes you want, the colors you want, and it just helps your branding and everything be super seamless, which you guys know I think is really important. Porkba also comes with free SSL certificates and who is privacy you guys can use my code to get it it's going to be bio bundle 23 and like i said you get it for five dollars for the entire year i will link everything that you guys need to know and put my code on the screen again i just want to say thank you to pork bun for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it just stopped bristol farms our fave we're gonna do the Gigi hadid spicy pasta that's the plan will we our stick to it, it. <laughs> Okay, just got back, went to Bristol Farms, as you guys saw. I usually don't go to that grocery store, just because like, I'm usually not over there. But we're going to switch it up tonight. We got a bunch of different brands. This one's actually the Bristol Farms brand. It's the Rigatoni. Really yummy, so it's like the really thick pasta noodles. And then we also got some basil. We got two different types of cheese. I mean, same type of cheese, both Parmesan, but one is grated. And then my mom was saying that she watches the Food Network and they put like the heel of the Parmesan in the bottom of the pasta and it like makes it really creamy and thick. So we're gonna do that. And then we got some spicy Italian sausage. We did turkey sausage and we got four of them. We also got the tomato paste that's just like in a jar, some diced tomatoes and heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna make the Gigi Hadid vodka pasta like I was saying. Honestly, don't really know if it's gonna taste that much different than what we normally do, so we'll see. But I thought there was actual vodka and vodka pasta, but apparently there's not. But maybe we're wrong, but all the recipes that we looked up, none of them had vodka, so we're not doing vodka, which like, obviously I don't drink, but like I would put the vodka in the pasta and be fine. But, okay. Um, We're gonna need one of these big pans. I've really been wanting a new set of pans. I really like the Our Place one, but I just want like different size ones. Anyway, we're gonna use this big one. We're gonna need to fill that up with some water. All right, chopping up about half of a large yellow onion, and then we're gonna saute this, caramelize it with some olive oil, and then we'll take you guys from there. But that's like the first step while the water's boiling. I've literally had this makeup on all day long. 
Bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser. It's from Drunk Elephant. It's really good. We haven't really been doing anything. We've just been hanging out talking for a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed slash my week. I still have a few things that I wanna get done. We honestly didn't really clean that much today, but my house was really clean because I deep cleaned before my mom came to stay just so the house was really nice for her. And yeah, I would have liked to get to the floors, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I don't have that crazy of a week just because it's like the end of the month and I have been really productive with my work. Like I feel like I've been really like getting everything in on time and honestly early, so that's really good. Every single Monday morning, cause it's Sunday night right now, I go to bar at like pretty early. I like to wake up around like seven on Mondays. I mean, it's definitely not like one of my early days. When I go to spin, I literally wake up at 6 a.m. and I feel like that's like extremely early, but since I don't have like work to do before, I'm just gonna wake up around like seven tomorrow and I go to bar with my friend Delaney. It's such a fun way to start the week because when I love bar, like it's pretty much like Matt Pilates, but half the class, the instructor that we go to, you stand at the bar and you pretty much just like do leg kicks and things like that. I was never a dancer, so like I didn't think that I would like bar, but it's really, really fun. And then obviously I love going with Delaney. I feel like just starting the week with such a good friend and someone that just puts me in such a good mood and we always like catch up about our weekends and we just chat. It's definitely like killing two birds with one stone because I'd probably go to the gym anyway. And being able to see a friend when I go is just even better. So I really like to set up my workout sets at night and I feel like there's kind of a science to setting out my workout sets because something like this I would really only wear to bar just because I'm like kind of moving around slower and I can like actually adjust my outfit and stuff. And then I feel like I have way more specific outfits that I wear to spin. So I always like to set my workout sets out because especially if I'm gonna wake up early and Hunter's not gonna be awake yet, I'm obviously gonna be like in a dark room and it's really annoying. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear that cricket, but there's been a cricket outside of our window for like two weeks and it's really frustrating. But yeah, I just put out my workout set. I'm also gonna put out a water bottle. Mom is literally cleaning my entire kitchen. Let's do, I'm gonna do this swell tomorrow. So I'll just set this, my swell for tomorrow. I will literally set my coffee pod sometimes on here just so I can go quick in the morning. Always get out my cup. We are all ready to go. <laughs> this is how extra I am. Also, we have some laundry going tonight, which is nice. Okay, I feel like this is part of the night where I just kind of hang out with Hunter and Coco, and there's no really like rhyme or reason to the end of the night for me. Like, I've been trying to read a little bit more, but I'm really better about doing like self-care type of habits in the morning and I just know that about myself. I'm actually so tired right now because I have been doing a lot better about drinking less caffeine and just better for me because like I feel like I was starting to have a little bit of anxiety and not sleeping very well when I was drinking too much caffeine it started to affect me and I'm really really working especially right now in my sleep because I'm trying to recover. I feel like I've been getting so much more sore and I just feel like I've been putting a lot of effort towards my workouts like even at spin like I don't know, I just try really hard to stay up. I try to stay on beat. I try to spin with good form. It's just like a lot. And then I'm also obviously cross training. So I am working different muscle groups. My goal this week is to go to Pilates at least once. I used to go to Pilates all the time. Yeah, I just haven't really been going to Pilates because I also really love lifting. It's hard to kind of like get in every single thing that I want to do for the week because I really like so many different styles of working out and like on top of working out being really fun for me, it's also a way that I hang out with my friends. I notice a huge difference if I don't get enough sleep in the way that I perform the next day fitness-wise and just how I feel in general, obviously, like my mood. I feel like, yeah, everything, like anxiety, the way I treat myself, like everything is so much better when I get a good night's sleep. And it's really hard for me because I just have always struggled with sleep because I'm a night owl naturally. And it just is what it is. That's how my family is. My mom's a night owl which sometimes it can be really, really fun, but it takes a lot of willpower to actually like do the things that make me feel better to go to sleep, like reading my book or just not scrolling on TikTok and stuff, but I have not been scrolling in my bed. That was a 75 soft habit that I added in kind of last minute on my 75 soft challenge because I noticed 
like scrolling in my bed is not a good thing because I could scroll for hours and hours and hours. So it's fine. I can scroll as much as I want. I don't really have like limits or anything on that. Especially because I do it with work so that gets really blurred. But like I cannot do it in my bed because I don't want to do it in the morning when I first wake up. And I don't want to do it right before bed because it will way delay me falling asleep. So I just like will go out in the living room until I'm done watching my show or something like that. And then when I come back into bed, it's like strictly only for sleeping. It's like our time away from all of that so yeah that's my sunday i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i feel like it was fun just bring you guys around with me obviously my mom's here so we went to the beach it was fun and i had a really good day i'm excited for this week i'm trying to think of any life updates to give you guys yeah the only life update was that i bought my wedding dress <laughs> i can't even believe that it's really crazy we actually might go to arizona next weekend because we are debating between obviously having our wedding here, which I've mentioned before that we really want to have it in Laguna because we want to be close to our house and be able to like have, I don't know, like our routine right before our wedding and stuff instead of having a destination wedding. We think it's fun for everybody to come to us, but like we think for our own wedding it would be nice to just not be like stressed about the travel on top of it, especially because we're going to leave for our honeymoon right after. So... Yeah, initially we were like, oh, let's do it in Laguna. There's only really one venue that I've really liked here, and it's a hotel. But it just probably won't work out just because you have to, like, reserve the whole hotel for three days. And I feel like it seems a little bit more daunting to plan because we'd have to do, like, three full days of planning things. So we found a venue in Arizona that we really, really like, but we want to see it in person just to be sure. But they have the date that we want in February of 2025 available. That's another update. We did decide that we're going to wait until February 2025 instead of doing September of 2024 just because we're like, why not just enjoy being fiancés and like push it out a little bit longer. And then once we get that booked, it'll be perfect. So that's all of the updates I can give you guys.